All right, now I'm told we do have a student named Joe. He's a senior at Olathe East. Joe, uh, thanks for reaching out and connecting with us. Uh, where are you right now? And, and tell us what you saw and heard earlier today. Uh, we're just locked. Uh, we're all locked out in our, our classrooms currently. We're just waiting for police officers to come clear us out uh, and into the gym. But uh, when it first started, we were in advisory. So it's basically just a study time for all the students. And I went back from the bathroom into my classroom, and we get, like, a thing on the intercom saying all of the students need to, like, return to their classrooms and stuff. So, like, it was nothing urgent at first, and they were just telling the teachers to check their emails. And so I had to come out and, like, grab some of my buddies from the vending machines, and nobody was really urgent or anything at all. Nobody really heard anything or, like, was acting like anything was, like, crazy. Joe, and where... then later... I'm sorry. What was that? No, go ahead, please. Okay. And then later, we just get more things on the intercom, but the principals are starting to sound, like, really shaky. Like, they sound really worried. So, like, everybody knows something's going on. We're just kind of waiting for, like, a confirmation or something. And then eventually, like, we, we ended up blockading the door because Ms. Sellers, our advisor teacher, was really worried. And then later, we just all went, like, we had this little back room in the art classroom where you can kind of huddle in. It's dark and safe. So we just waited in there until we got more like a word from the principals or something and then what else happened uh well basically after that we heard we saw we knew all the cops were inside and they eventually ordered us like they were just going to all come to our door and take us out into the gym and separate us from like drivers to bunch takers and stuff like that and then i'm not really sure what else we're going to do from here how did we you didn't really hear anything how did you feel as all this was happening, as, as you heard the announcements, you know, get, get more uh, stern? I was, and... I was a little worried. I was wondering, like, what even happened, like, who was hurt, who got shot. There was a lot of people crying and, like, kind of panicking. And I was just kind of a, a, kind of a hectic scene at, for a little bit. But eventually everybody calmed down after we realized, like, nobody died and everything. It was all good. And, Joe, you mentioned um, sort of barricading in the classroom there. Did you guys employ some of the drills and so forth that you have done to prepare for situations like this? Like, was there much of that going on where you were? Yeah, everybody was kind of expecting an Alice call or anything, but we didn't, we didn't hear that at all. So Ms. Sellers just kind of started blockading the doors and everybody followed suit. Where was the classroom you were in in relation to the office of the school? So we have the office at the front, and then uh, there's like stairs, right, like right ahead, and it's all the way on the opposite side of the school, okay. like towards the other exit. And you said you did not hear any gunshots or anything like that. No, I don't think anybody did. A couple of my friends were in the commons, which is literally in the open area right next to the, or like near the office, sort of, within earshot. If so, like, is what you like suppose, but they didn't hear anything. And, and Joe, you may have said, I, I, we're looking at live pictures here right now of um, parents being uh, led over to uh, Pioneer Trail Middle School to reunite with, um, with the students. Where are you again, uh, Joe? Uh, we're still at Olathe East. We're still in our classrooms. We're waiting to be cleared out by the police officers. But uh, we're not going to be taken out immediately. We're going to be taken into the gym is what they said. 